Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophynet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Dead March difficulty. We're still playing the Blood and Wine DLC and today we have another special little side quest in store. There is a man wounded over there and I think someone is already helping him out. But uh, let's see if they can't use my help. Hello Gaston and it looks like a dead knight though. The dressings, bandages, where did I put them? Forget it. Bandages won't do him any good. What? Oh, but he breathed still a moment ago. Well, mm -hmm. he looks dead. Breathed his last then. Bled to death. Legs broken. Femoral arteries ruptured. Wound like that, you're dead in minutes. Gods. What happened here exactly? I... I was rolling through, fully loaded, when I heard screams. This one crawled towards the road, then drooped to the ground, lost consciousness. I jumped down to help him, press his wounds. Then you appeared. Good man. Helping a stranger admirably indeed. Pretty admirable stopping to help a stranger. Truthfully, when I saw him, I considered it might be an ambush. The thought entered my mind, I near decided to crack the whip. But to abandon a man in need, it's simply not the decent thing to do. That is indeed Enough true. In many other places, believe me. Yes, indeed. Before you go on, clean your hands thoroughly and burn your shirt. Might also want to rub some time on your body to be sure. The smell of blood might attract ghouls otherwise. Who, who might you be precisely? A, a witcher. witcher. Oh. Uh, 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 do, do you expect some beast might have killed him? Why are you? Afraid of me all of a sudden. Plan to figure that out. See what we have here. Legs broken, but cause of death's the wound. Small but deep. Edges unfrayed. Either a thrust weapon or a thick claw. Maybe a wyvern's. Tough to say, and... Mm, breastplate's unusual. Dented. It's got a patina. An antiquity, I believe. I deal in these things, so uh, what's puzzling is, why did he done it? Not likely to learn that from him. So Never his armor is something special. From, from that house, I'm assuming, but need to investigate. Got some work to do, so, so long. Okay, goodbye, Mr. Merchant, I suppose. Wait, I will come with you. Why? So the blood trail is coming from over there, so fine, let's go then. Hmm, so be it. But stay close, keep it down, and don't touch a thing. Okay, so bloodstains. Extreme cosplay. Follow the tracks of the murdered man using your witcher senses. Extreme cosplay. That's a bit the weird. Trail leads to the house on the hill. Which stands silent as a grave. Okay, that was a weird thing to say. Uh, looks like a door we can bust through with uh, art. Must have been here he broke his legs. Oh yeah. Fell while climbing over the wall. Trying to leave the property probably. After There's a lot of blood up, the up there as well. So let's burst open. Gates locked from the inside. Clearly been jostled though. Something tried to get out. <sighs> the very thought sends a cold wind down my back. Why are you here then? Okay, we still can't break through it apparently. Maybe. Oh, now it ha oh, it shouldn't stand so close. Investigate the estate grounds. Looks like Damn a it. very nice place actually. Good what? Gods. Another. Ooh. Oh. Um. Looks like a lot of people died here. Servant, stabbed to death. Over a dozen blows with a sharp object. Some post mortem. I cannot believe this is the work of a man. It was a monster, to be sure. Was it? Torso punctured with great force. Blow pierced hardened steel. Man on the high road. Breastplate was identical. Okay, and then this guy? massacred. One mighty blow. Shield along sides old and dented. Sword ceremonial. And Shea handiwork clearly. Okay... So well, what the hell happened bowls. here? For little sacrifices? Of what? Please, do not say humans. 
Were they... Oh, because the quest is called cosplay. Were they just recreating something? They kind of died for it. Something catch fire. Explode. Strong stench. Hello. Multiple wounds on the body. All puncture wounds, but hard to tell what caused them. Victim's human, but the attire's elven. So yeah, it looks like they were... How did he come by it? We've so few non-humans in Tucson. They were performing a reenactment. What's this? Okay, thanks for all that. Pretty nice bit of loot. But they were doing some kind of reenactment here, probably. Ceremonial bowls for little sacrifices. Yeah, yeah, Geralt. Please do not say humans. What, what were they doing here? I want to ignite these things, but keeps going to the the other bowls. There we go. That's one. Let's do. Let's light this place up a bit. Doesn't seem to do anything though. Ooh, lots of food. Lots of food always handy. And these tables were what the hell's this? wrecked as hell. Setting for a banquet? It seems so. What's your suspicion? Did none survive? Gods. So now we need to follow the smell of the burning. Oh wait, there's something here as well. Silver tableware. Engravings. So yeah, by now we can really assume that they were reenacting something elven here, an elven ritual maybe of some kind. Let's follow the smell upstairs. What the hell? Is this even Fled, human? Then dropped to the ground to douse the flames. Didn't manage. Burnt smells growing fainter. Might have been another luckier soul managed to flee. So this man was burned alive, and then we have what the hell is this? Doublet scorched. Wriggled out of it, tossed it, then ran on. Okay, oh, I know where this is going. Oh, or not. Somebody survived, it seems. Thought it was going to be the night that we found Perhaps outside. No inside after. I know you're in there. Breathing's loud and clear. Open up. We mean you no harm. The door looks terrible as well. The, the doorpost. Hey. Thera remain there? Who? Who are you talking about, man? What happened here? Who are they? Listen, I'm a witcher. I'm here to help you. But if that's gonna happen, you gotta answer some questions first. You mentioned them. Who do you mean? Those... I, I don't know what they were. Spirits? It all occurred of a sudden. We were staging a scene. The, the, the death of paying homage. There was a flash of light that blinded me completely. I heard cries, though saw nothing. Then felt my own robes were in flames. I oh, God. broke and ran, threw off my doublet, leapt in here, and it shut and locked the door behind me. They okay. pounded on the door. I, I, I thought they would get through. I, I thought I was done for, but, but in the end, it, uh, it grew calm. So, because of the reenactment, they were probably attacked by some spirits who didn't like the memory. But who are you exactly? What else can we find out? Durant Fosher Plamonton de Saffaran, Lord of these lands, and Chairman of the Society of Friends of the History of Tutor. That was a mouthful. We meet here annually to mark the anniversary of the Elfin Homage. But something like this... Uh, why, it's a uh, first. Okay. So while reenacting a scene from the past, somehow, unintentionally, you summoned a specter. A Korgorath, or a tube, maybe. What? What now? Yeah, this that thing? was my reaction. You gotta do it again, of course. Are you mad? Would you have this thing? Kill us? No, don't want it to kill anyone. Precisely why I gotta do my job. Summon it again, whatever it is, and tend to it once and for all. Durand, think I can reenact the pledge? The giving of homage, alone? It was a great, momentous event. The surrender of Tucson's last elf and king. You will need at least three individuals. Okay, there we go. Can I, can I count on your help? You know what I'm gonna ask for. Need your help, but I'll understand if you turn me down. They probably Objections. want to finish this as well. Good. 
Good. Let's good, get good, to good, work. Good. Start by clearing the corpses. Got some time. Won't start the reenactment before nightfall. Things of this sort are a lot more likely to work after dusk. One last thing, though. My pay. Don't work for free, you know. Understood. Just keep the danger at bay, and I shall be generous. Through and through. Okay, this should be interesting, though. Oh, the fires are out. I will stand, or rather, sit in for King Ludovic upon the Elfin Throne, while you, Witcher, will play the Enche Ruler. We must don the costumes. All must be just right. Okay, then. Give me that. The Ceremonial Mask. The Elfin King hosted Ludovic in his own palace upon his own throne. Amidst the blinding glow of a plethora of torches. Okay. Plethora of torches. So light all the lamps. We did that already, but... Let's do that. A light this place. Nice and lively. Four, five, and six. Don't interrupt. No, I'm not interrupting. I want to ignite. Laid at Lutovic's feet a loaf of binnen and elfin bread, thus granting humans rule over seat yielding lands. Okay, take a loaf of elven bread. There we go. Let's take the loaf. Elven bread. In front of Durand's throne. Face offering. Tibetha filled the ornate ceremonial bowls with elven wine. Gwinoet. The sweetest blood of the land that had been torn from him. Okay. Elven wine. At long last, the elfin king grasped his sword and shield, thus symbolically passing command of his armies to humans. Pick up an elven sword and pick up an elven shield. Okay. Shield and sword. Draw the elven sword and shield. There we go, via the menus. I could use the, the quest items tab to equip all that. And then draw it. Where's the sword? Wait, wait, where's the... There we go, ancient elven shield. The elven there we go. Erect in his pride. Drew his blade and dropped to his knees, thus acknowledging his final defeat. Lutovic then spake. I accept your allegiance and shall return in one year's time to. Oh, what the. Ah, look, oh. look, the statues. Impossible. Okay. Cause mother! Are they gonna defeat the living statues? Oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh, I'm... I'm... What? Okay, so she's throwing the fireballs. And... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Healing, 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 healing. Keep dodging. So killed one of the sorceresses. Ow. Oh shit. Okay, I killed the sorceresses, so that should take care of most of the damage. Holy shit, that was... that was something. Fuck! Oh, these guys don't fuck around. These guys don't fuck around. Oh, 
So I took some Hangman's Venom to just take out the rest of these uh, Spear Throwers. The magic guys are down again. You gotta be careful because they keep a close handle on themselves. Set them on fire as well if I can. There we go. That should take at least one down. Because they don't get stunned easily. There we go, that's two more. And there we go. Holy shit. The so the third attempt worked alive. out. So focus on the magic dealers first, so the women, the sorceresses. You know, specialize in killing monsters. Reviving them, not so much. I... I may know what happened. The statues, you see, once stood in the palace of one Defethov. I acquired them a month past because uh, perhaps I should start at the beginning. Yeah, perhaps you should. This Defethov was to pay tribute to humans, producing statues of this sort each year. Yet. He did so but once, for he perished in the massacre of non-humans at the foot of Mount Gorgon in the year 782. It's fortunate he did too, as Tefethev had planned Lutefek's downfall, for he sculpted not statues, but columns that masqueraded as such, columns activated with words said in homage, columns that would have turned the king and his bodyguards into so much colorful confetti. Typical treachery embodied elves. Pshh. Humans are no better either, there we go. You're no better. Elves were just defending their territory. You humans took it, but you still weren't sated. Had to cut the elves down every last one. You? What does that mean? You're a man as we are. Yeah, in a way. Just a shame to have to admit it sometimes. Your words? They're wrong, Witcher. But I'll not let you leave empty-handed. Take this as your reward. Farewell. Thank you. So that was another really interesting quest. So the statues were actually made as a trap to kill uh, any conquerors that uh, came about. So that the statues would turn on the king. That was really interesting. But that's the end of the uh, extreme cosplay quest. And with that, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Next time we're going to... Uh, I think we're going to do some of those What If episodes. We're going to see what happens if we uh, take the other choices in the, the end of the main quest, so during the vampire attack. So uh, you have that to look forward to. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel. Because I'd really, really appreciate any help you guys can give me. So thanks again enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video or series. Goodbye.